What's going on guys? Uh, just got back to Las Vegas yesterday after about 40 hours of travel over the past two days. Um, so good to be back, finally home, uh, settling back in, readjusting. Uh, but today, I wanted to talk about XRP, as always. Uh, XRP showing some strength. So we'll start with this little meme here. Uh, can't sleep. How I sleep knowing XRP could hit an all-time high at any moment. And I don't think it's that extreme, but when we're in these pumpy times or like if XRP's starting to, to move, sometimes it's like, oh, do I really want to sleep right now or do I want to watch the chart and see what's going on? <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, still getting over a bit of a cold as well, so I might cough a few times, voice might crack. Uh, but let's move over to the chart. XRP uh, had a nice little pump up yesterday. As it seems to do, you know, it has these little pumps before the market gets a pullback so that it doesn't pull back as hard sometimes. Seems like that's what we got yesterday. Touched almost 66 cents. Back down to like 63 and a half right now. So really, like we broke out of this triangle, this resistance, uh, but then we kind of just fell right back into it. I mean, maybe you could draw something like this and say, okay, we broke out and now we've retested. We're gonna bounce, but I really would have liked to see us hold up here I don't know could be good could be bad no way to tell about the immediate short term long term obviously we've been in a nice uptrend over the past few weeks um, but Bitcoin showing some weakness today after the FOMC meeting and pulling back XRP has been holding up much better and if we come over to XRP versus Bitcoin we're just playing with those highs that we set uh, in the middle of July right here so looking to break those and then I think once we break those you know I think the move is gonna keep going pretty swiftly back up to this this yellow box could still take some weeks like it won't just teleport there in a day I mean it could but I don't think it will uh, but we're looking very strong right now compared to the rest of the market on XRP a lot of the other alts especially even the ones that I hold right H bar down in the dumps still getting wrecked showing no life algo showing no life XDC showing no life Casper all-time lows literally as we speak uh, so it's a struggle for a lot of these coins but XRP uh, is doing pretty well so good time to be an XRP holder a lot of positive catalysts on the horizon uh, and it's nice to see that finally for once uh, we're actually showing strength versus the rest of the market so another interesting thing today with the FOMC it looked like the stock market, the Russell, was going to break out. It broke above all these highs, but then it pulled back right away. So, kind of a bit of a fake out. Uh, Jerome, uh, Jerome Powell did signal that they're most likely going to start cutting next meeting. That's the plan. Um, normally, when we see cuts, that marks the top of the market within like the following few weeks so cuts are not bullish cuts are when we should really start worrying most likely i think bitcoin will get moving here soon get out of here and i think it'll probably set a top around the time that cuts start so here in <coughs> here in september right i'm looking for 100k plus I think once we get this big move out of here, break these highs, it'll start to move parabolic just like it did back here. Okay, so let's run through some tweets. Crypto Insight UK. I like how XRP is holding strong-ish, even though Bitcoin is creeping slightly lower. If Bitcoin does have a leverage flush, however, I presume XRP would follow. <coughs> Holy shit. If this happens, I'd be watching how XRP recovered. Oh yeah, uh, th we have the monthly close coming up as well. So if we come over to the one month on Bitcoin, right, pretty decent. Big wick down here and closing green. XRP on the one month looks beautiful. Uh, might be engulfing all of these candles here. But yeah, it looks like assuming we hold right here, we're going to get a bullish engulf of all the candles since August of last year. So like 12 months. Awesome to see. Here from Waters Above, the XRP train is about to leave the station, showing this chart, <clears throat> how close we are to 
getting that final breakout of our macro pattern. XRP Avengers, 98% of people will sell their XRP after 10 to $50. I'm going to sell a good chunk of it there. Um, I'm here to see the price above $100 who will stay with me. I'll be holding a moon bag for sure, but a lot of my XRP is getting sold 10 to 50 bucks for sure. 50 bucks, like, yeah. Uh, from Peppa, holy ass, if this 44 day XRP uh, chart closes above the red line, it's time for Valhalla again. So, again, just showing our macro chart that we always look at, big triangle. <coughs> Here from Crypto Michael commenting on this chart here, uh, showing our macro pattern and his measured move of the triangle bull flag breakout, saying that it, it would take us to like $285. <laughs> Crypto Michael goes, you'll be lucky to get a 10X on XRP this cycle. Um, these 300X price predictions are beyond delusional. If you hold expecting uh, these ridiculous targets, you'll be left holding the bag all the way back down in the next bear. Be careful who you listen to. Uh, and I, I agree. I think uh, this is delusional. I think 10x is uh, kind of a small small target. I think we definitely go higher than $6 once we get a true breakout. Um, but I could be wrong. Uh, but I do think that 100 plus is insane for this cycle. Uh, but, you know, anything's possible in this space. So we'll see who's right. <coughs> Here from Trading Guy, XRP coming down into the triangle. So far, the breakout, even though it was a higher high, seems to be a fake out. Chart later after the monthly close. So same thing as I was saying, basically. And we'll just have to wait and see how it plays out. Uh, the Crypto Philosopher. Uh, that's why XRP holders look insane for waiting so long. Uh, but we know what XRP is and it's what it's going to be. The patience will be well rewarded. Very important to map your future. And for my future, I choose to be free. So... We always knew that this is a long, longer term play. Uh, we're betting on the technology, on the use case, and that takes a lot of time. So that's what he's waiting for. That's what I'm going to be waiting for ultimately too with that, that moon bag I'm going to keep because uh, I do think it'll be an integral part of the new financial system. For Mason versus, just make sure you understand any of your uh, cryptos could go to zero within a week. And it doesn't matter how big they are. And this is the truth. Uh, yeah, and that's facts. Any, any crypto that you buy, it's it's high risk. It could fail. It could go to zero. Uh, and you could get wrecked. And that's just a risk you have to accept uh, when you enter this space. <clears throat> Finally, from Listen to My Son, as a man, 90% of your attention should be money, fitness, and purpose. Resist distractions at all cost. So I'll leave you with that. Hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and let's keep our fingers crossed for something big for XRP in the coming weeks. Thank you guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.